indeed. Wait, so I am capturing Doom Eternal. So why is it just a black screen? Why is it just capturing a black screen? Why? There we go. You're gonna go d eat dinner. You're gonna be back. Alright. Let's see, let's chill. Take a bit, bit of a chill pill on this one for now. Okay, so what is this title? Oh, yeah, that one, I guess. So, let's just get on with it, but, uh, why did that fall down? Why did you fall down? That's my fucking charging cable. How did you even fall Are you fucking kidding me? Are you actually fucking kidding me? Oh my god, I knew this was gonna be a waste of time. How does this even happen? Fine, you know what? Fuck this thing. Well, this shelf is now unusable. That lasted literally a fucking day. Not even that, one night. So that's fun. Alright, like I was going to do before, you know, that happened. Not that I'm gonna be editing this shit anyway. Just gonna cut in here. Alright. Fortress of Doom, it's been a week since I played this, so... I'm kind of fuzzy on the details on the game. The final Hell Priest location remains unknown. The demonic consumption of Earth will not be stopped until the last priest and his guardian are destroyed. Oh yeah, so we will require uh, assistance in order to locate the final Hell Priest. I believe Dr. Hayden can help us with our search. I will right. the oh. portal to the Ark's command station. So that's a good uh, recap. So. We're Doom Guy, right? Uh, Earth has been pretty much taken over by the demonic forces of Hell over the last couple of months. And, uh... Fuck, I can't remember. Um... Also for editing, sweetie, in case whenever the hell you get to this footage. We are the Slayer, indeed. I know that. Uh, fuck me, my fucking head. I'm just trying to jog my fucking memory. It's... Damn, I should have done this on like last Sunday, but damn, I just I just wasn't feeling it. But yes, uh, we we are as always the Doom Slayer. Uh, we came from I think it's Mars, I think. Um, after the uh, after the ending of the first game, to pretty much a demon wrecked Earth, and we pretty much started off the game with just killing one of these three hell priests. Am I gonna play Doom One and Two? Do you can all in this game? I don't know. I didn't even know that was a thing. Also, no spoilers. If the, the if that's a spoiler, I'm gonna be fucking mad. Cause like, there's a reason why I pick the tags that I do. Blind, 
first playthrough. Let's listen in to what the Arch this has to say. Resistance network. In an unbelievable turn of events, the Supergore nest has been destroyed. Reports from Ark personnel in the field say that they have seen a significant decrease in demonic activity across the globe. Probably because Many of us. I believe this yeah. is proof that the Doomslayer himself has in fact joined the Resistance effort and has successfully eliminated key figures within the ranks of the challenged. Operatives working inside the UAC cultist organization claim that the leader of that division, priest Dayag Ranok, was in fact removed from his office recently by the Slayer himself. As key leadership within the Mortally Challenge continue to fall, we are seeing a decreased threat from the demons on all fronts. This has given the Resistance a key advantage in the War for Earth. The UAC continues to deny any knowledge of his existence. As surviving members of the ARC network, it is the belief of this station that these reports are in fact true. We believe the Slayer has joined us in the battle against the demons. To anyone still listening to this broadcast, know that there is hope. And he is out there. Nah, I just want to kill some fucking demons. That's pretty much it. Alright. Let's just go. So now we need to now we need to get our hands on Samuel Hayden, the um, the robot dude from the last game, who basically was the narrator of the game last time, and that basically stamped us in the back at the end of it. So it's gonna be interesting if uh, what the hell he's gonna say. Having destroyed the Supergore nest, the hunt for the remaining Hell Priest continues. Unable to identify his position due to con maker due to the con maker's interference, you travel to the Ark Complex, headquarters of the Armored Response Coalition Ark, in, in search of D Dr. Samuel Hayden, the leader of the human resistance on Earth and the only person capable of finding the final priest. Huh, <laughs> human. Dr. Hayden is just across the complex. This industrial campus was once the headquarters of the resistance. All right. Oh. Good news for the faithful. The deceiver, Samuel Hayden, has fallen. The Ark is no more. Well, that's fuck. That's a bummer. He's already fucking dead. Oh, shit. This might not be good. All right. This area is no longer secure. Evacuation protocol is in effect. Let's go! I keep pressing R by my pure reflex. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, yeah! Actually, no, this is the wrong tool. Fuck you! Hey, that's the joy, boy. That's the joy, boy. All right. I need to chainsaw some people. You're a perfect example. Whoa. Damn it! I pre keep pressing F for some reason. Oh yeah, it's control. Fuck your arm! Oh, 
There we go, finally. Indeed, it very much does. Sit down. Let's go for the auto shotty, I think. Yeah. That was the best option right there. Yeah, I'm st I'm still feeling a bit stuck shit. Oh yeah. One, two, three. Ah, oh, shit, this is the only gun we have with ammo in it. Anything? Can we get back up there? Oh, that's some missiles anyway. Three missiles, three plasma shells, and that's about it. Warning, the Ox headquarters is under attack. Oh, I actually have a blood punch, that's good to know. Okay, that's where I need to go, so that's where I'm not going. Ah, oh, come on. He's Doom Guy, but he can't break some glass. Bullshit. Fuck yeah! Damn it, you made me miss. Oh. It's not what I wanted to do, but whatever. Still don't have the second attachments to this gun yet. Oh shit. Ow, ow, ow. Tight space, tight space. Yep, rip out your guts and make you explode. I only have the crossbow, do I? Yeah. Let's see, is there anything up here? Yes, there is. Lenny. That fucking scared me. Anything in 
there. No. I'm basically just looking for a bunch of secrets, basically. Oh shit, I didn't notice the goop. I didn't notice the goop! Okay. That was pretty fucking awesome. I chose that I'm not entirely out of out of practice. Just a bit. Oh, this goddamn purple goop. Snore <laughs> snores. Sleep should be delicious. Hmm. Oh. No. Like, there's been a bunch of secrets in the game. I just can't seem to find any anything right now. Damn it, stay on the rail. Stay on the rail. Doom guy, breaker of demons, slayer of souls, but cannot climb up a fucking wall. I don't know. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Actually? Oh, back there. Alright. Wait, maybe... The entrance into Dr. Aiden's outpost is blocked. Two peripheral turrets identified. Calculating optimal firing path. Confirm. <sighs> you could use both turrets to clear a path. I will mark them for you. Like. Oh. Oh, that explosion was fucking perfect. Wait, where did that come from? I only have one fuel. Oh, yeah! Oh, shit, not one of you. Okay.
Wait, that one's new. I can't destroy his guns. Ooh. Oh, hey, map. Sweet. Well, that's just not very nice now, is it? Holy shit, I almost died. Well, you did. There we go. He did. It's a cyber man to us. not exactly what I wanted to do, but whatever. Wait, what's down here? What the? Use it. There we go. Uh... Do I really want micro missiles? Because the bottomless missiles kind of turns the game too damn easy, as memory serves. Uh, this one's already fully mastered, I guess. Arbalest. Instant salvo, incremental blade. What about this? Remote detonate. Nah. Uh, which one of the guns do we really use the most? It's pretty much the heavy cannon, really. Yeah, we'll go for it. Just in case we're coming across one of those boss battles where it is, like, actually pulling teeth. I need to find the fucking demon key. Which is very close by. In fact, it's up there. How do we get up there, though? I think we gotta go from above and drop down. Then again, there's something in there as well. Yep. And a power core. Ah, damn it. Okay. So, let's look at the map. It's, it's gotta be that we gotta go around up here and up like that down there, grab that key and then go back in. Fucking hell, I almost died by my own missiles. Oh, I didn't even realize I swapped those with the shotgun. I guess I ran out. Aha! A weapon mastery. I don't- I don't know fucking anything? I don't know. Nothing else. Alright. This 
This is Dr. Elena Richardson, log entry 002. Subject analysis of Doomslayer, January 24th, 2163. There is no chance that the subject is a demon. We have blood samples pulled from the Mars base event that show his blood type is AB positive. He is male with a genome that makes him very much a member of the human race. Very but much? The enhanced strength, speed, and athleticism would indicate otherwise. But we can see from the blood samples that there are foreign bodies present of unknown origin. I cannot, as a contributing member of the scientific community, agree with the assumption by some of my colleagues that he is, for lack of a better word, a god, an avenging angel, the right hand of doom here to save humanity from its sins. But I cannot ignore that the timing of his arrival, the identity of his enemies, the fire and brimstone element to this catastrophe we currently find ourselves in has, it, it has definitely shaken my scientific resolve. I mean, it's literally angels and demons fighting each other over the battleground that is Earth. I think, I think the science can kind of take a backseat on this one. Aside from sheer weaponry. I think the Arbalest might be the more useful one, quite honestly. GIVE ME! So now we have this. Laundry. So yeah, that is pretty much what we have to do, doesn't it, isn't it? Oh, wait, because that's where we came from. Is there anything else up here? I'm thinking if there's another secret. Nah, there's not. Well, you got fucked. Damn it. But now I'm just going away from the room. So, again, how the hell do we get in there? And don't answer that, it's rhetorical. Oh, I didn't see the wall there. That makes it fucking obvious. Yorp. Alright. Time to do a Slayer Room. Because we couldn't do it on the last map. Because I completely forgot to do it. Okay. Let's do this. What in the? Holy shit! That big one is gonna be a big fucking problem. Two of them?
Oh, uh, give them the iframes. That laser is horrifying to hear. Yes! Oh my god. going to weaken him and then oh fuck okay let's see what can we do with you you already have the flaming hook so you're fine arbalest No. Let's check out the Destroyer Blade. They only have three points, though, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, deal 20,000 damage while the energy shield is active. So what you're saying is... We just basically have to go around with the energy shield out and just keep pelting people down. Sounds good to me! What the? Target the f what game? I'm sorry. What? How much damage did I get done there? Quite a lot, actually. Quite, quite, quite a lot. But I. What's his weak point? What's his weak point? Yes! Ah! Armor. Shit, he's right there. What? What happened? Okay. Once again, how are we looking on the um, progression on that? Basically, just three more tries, and we basically get it. There we go. One of them down. Oh, 
Holy fuck, Miggles! Thank you, bye. Got it. That R doesn't actually reload. Can you please die? K thanks. <sighs> Where's the minigun? There it is. Ah oh, shit, it's one of those fuckers. <sighs> Sit down. Where's the big one? Where's the big one? There you are. There you are. And you need to give me your ammo. And I need your armor. Give me your health. Was that it? Yes, it was. Woo, baby. And that's my third Empyrean key. Just three more to go, and one of them I have to go back and replay another mission for. you is want hmm. too short just give me the armor
Aha. There we go. Alright, so... Yup, that's pretty much exactly what I need right now. Both ammo-wise and the napalm belch. No. I wonder though, what's up with the stairs? Aha! I fucking knew it! It's never just one thing. Stop it. Get some help. No. Oh, alright. I don't know, though. What the? Holy! That's so fucking rude! is Dr. Elena Richardson, log entry 005, subject analysis of Doomslayer, February 2nd, 2163. Maybe he is a god. Maybe he represents humankind's rage, their will to persevere, to overcome that which would threaten our survival. He is uncompromising, a relentless being of violence that knows no mention of the hesitation shown by our many leaders and politicians during our time of judgment. Can he overcome them alone? If he can't, we as a species, all species, will not survive. At least she has at least realized that part. Keep forgetting just how fucking mobile you are in this game. Which, as I remember from last week, was definitely a frequent problem that I kept stumbling across. Oh, he wasn't dead yet. Alright. Well, dead enough, I guess. Okay, again, that's where we need to go, so that's not where I'm going. Or am I? I guess I am. I don't know. No one is born a sinner. You have to work hard to achieve success. Oh. Yeah. Praetorian suit emblem. Let's actually see how many how many we have. We have five of them, so. Damage dealt against frozen demon as against a fr Ooh. I do like the mobility, though, of the dash in there. But at the same time, we haven't really been using the ice bomb, and this will definitely for uh, you make me use it. Because I like the frag grenade, I really do. Evolution is our destination. Oh. When Wait. they arrive, we arrive. Oh. I thought it was like a secret, you know, ledge down here, like there. Oh, 
Wait, so... Huh? Oh, okay. Wait, I wonder... Is there anything down here? Nope! That, uh, that scaffolding is literally not even an object. Ow! No, 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 I do not want to die to the fire. Damn it. Let's swap to missiles. Shreds. Uh, I thought I thought I had fuel. Come from Barrier, barrier! minigun. There it is. Okay. That just happened. Okay, so we need to get up there, which we do by going over here. No, you sit the fuck down and think about what you've done. Hey, Nocturnal. It's a very new game. Like, it came out last week, so I'm not surprised you've, you haven't played it. This is Doom Eternal. It is a hella gory game filled with filled with weaponry that is so metal you'll never think of any other game. Past the part where I was supposed to go. 
Well, not supposed to, but wanted to go anyway. Pay to a suit point. Okay, this is gonna activate a fucking event, so I gotta think about this. What weapons do I have? Not a whole lot. Not a whole damn lot. We'll have to rely on this. For the most part. Damn it! <sighs> he kept dodging. All right, let's try this again. Also, by the way, just in case, keeping that there. For those of you new to the Let's Play streams that I do, um. Normally, we would have song requests and stuff like that enabled. And especially meme box. But during the Let's Play streams, which you can see with the tag down below, below the stream title, um, mute, um, song requests are turned off and meme box is not allowed to be used. That's because I don't want the audio to be tainted. So, please do not use the meme box. Doing so, especially after this warning, will get you a 24 hour timeout. Come on, charge, 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 charge. Yeah, that Arbalest is not that powerful. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it's still an engagement going on here. Where's the last fucker? There you two are. Get over here, I've been looking for you guys. There we go, shield launch. Okay, so what did that do then? Deal enough damage with chain gun while energy shield is active will launch it forward on release. Any demons hit by this projectile will falter, damn. Oh, it needs to be enough damage. All right, fair enough. Give me that and that. Oh, that is ter- That is terrible timing. Holy shit. That was awful timing. Okay, good to know. You're not invulnerable doing dur dur during that. Would have been nice to know that beforehand.
Okay. Yep, lower kills are faster. That's basically what I need to focus on right now. Okay. You just need to die ASA fucking Pete. Fuck's sakes. Alright, give me that ammo. Fucking hell! Sit down. It is on the hardest difficulty, so it is very hard. That and I haven't played in a week, so I'm very, very stiff in my movements. Like, you have to be really precise when aiming in this game. And pretty much everything in existence in this game is looking to kill you, so... Okay, okay. Basically gonna look to... Almost done. There we go. Oh. Easy. Yeah, no, sit down. Please explode, please explode, please explode. Thank you. There we go. No. One up, nice. What the? Anything in here? No. Oh, it's going from here. All right. Well, that's a sinkhole. If I, yeah. We gotta fall right through that once we step on that. Oh, yes, Doom Guy here is the epitome of too angry to die. That's essentially who Doom Guy is. Also, yes. Let's see, what do we actually want to unlock? Yeah, you know, I think it's time that we go for that. So, these things, um, I can't remember what they're called. Uh, runes. They allow you to customize um, certain aspects of the game. Like, for example, whenever I do glory kills, I do them faster with this one, the Savagery. Then I can do Seek and Destroy, which allows me to to launch into a glory kill from, from a further distance. And enemies killed by a Blood Punch, which is when you glory kill enough people, you get to do one melee attack that just pretty much obliterates weaker enemies instantly. 
but this one allows me to make them drop health, which has been very, very useful. However, I feel like having more control as I move around just flat out seems more useful to me. To be able to avoid projectiles. I'll have to see if that actually is true. You believe the Doom Slayer will save you? Your salvation lies with us, not him. <sighs> Well, that's one hell of an elevator. Ah, oh, shit, it's one of these rooms. Give me your ammo. Oh, fuck, Cyber Mankeepers. Wrong! I meant to pre- I meant to chainsaw them, not execute them. Fuck. I needed ammo. Oh, I, c I can imagine. It is a hella chaotic game. Especially when you don't know what- Especially when you don't know what everything does. So- when they glow blue normally, or orange when I'm within range, that means that they're weak enough that I can actually glory kill them. Glory killing essentially just allows me to instantly kill them for ammo. Oh no, for health, I mean. Chainsawing people. Chainsawing uh, certain enemies, like the weaker ones, instantly, or if I have if I have full fuel, uh, even bigger fuckers uh, allows basically makes them drop ammo. It's the game's way of keeping you constantly on the move and constantly killing demons, so that so that the fun train never ever stops. Which, let's be fair, why are you even playing a game like Doom if you're not doing it for the sheer utter carnage?
Oh, got the armor. Oh, and they're, if they're on fire, they drop armor. <laughs> but it's but the funny thing is, most people would probably assume that this is a brain dead game. No, you have to really like be able to move quick enough, fast enough, and really agile enough to actually be able to survive because most enemies actually require you to kill their weak points first before that you can effectively kill them. Oh my god! Glory kill rampage! <laughs> Rip and tear! Yes! <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> it ran out. It fucking ran out. So, three main staples to, um, to Doom games are Quadra damage, over Overcharge, and Berserk. They are power-ups that you can get across the maps that basically quadruple your damage, massively increases your speed, and allows you to glory kill instantly. Respectively. I didn't see that until just now, and I'm gonna go grab that as soon as we're as soon as we get to the cyber uh, mancubus. Just so we can rip them apart. Yeah, you can see it's down there. Frag grenade. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm out of ammo. The, the game is so incredibly much fun that describing what it feels like playing it, it, it just can't be described. It is a feeling that you have to experience for yourself. Shit. <laughs> But it is hard as tits. Like this, if you're looking for a really challenging game that has a solid as fuck gunplay mechanic, an absolutely fantastic mobility mechanic, and well, a soundtrack that just makes your blood boil with sheer unbridled rage, then this is definitely the game for you. Because what other game can you seriously say, genuinely, without even I with any form of irony, that you took your unicorn-shaped spear, shoved it into a mancubi's chest to grab his heart and then shove it back in into his throat? What game can you say that you've done that in? I mean, aside from Doom 2016. Only to see him explode from his own heart. Get over here!
There he is. Arbalest. Stop. In the name of the Lord. Fuck. Ah. Shit. You would rage fairly quickly. There are lower difficulties than this, so don't take this as the primary, like... Um... What do I call it? Um, like, main way of playing it? Because this... I just play these kind of games on the hardest possible difficulty because that's what I enjoy doing. That and I very rarely actually replay any games. That is single player games. Obviously, multiplayer games, that's a whole different story. Sometimes I don't even play them after the first time I even tried them. Damn it. Okay. Oh, this is a terrible round. I thought I hit him. All right. This is by far not even one of the worst rooms that I've been that I've uh, had to fight in. If anything, this is definitely one of the better ones. Okay, maybe not spawn in into damage. Okay, thanks the game. There we go, I didn't see him because of the fire. I see the Berserk right there. Nah, shit, didn't want to pick that up. I will find. Nah, no, I don't want to get stuck. Get back here! Okay, I ran out of ammo, so time for the chainsaw again. Ooh, close. Stop doing that. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, 
took a couple of tries, but I got it. Really? Well, that was easy. Oh, I see him. I see him over there. Damn it. There we go. Ah, shit. I was going in for the armor. Oh, well. At least I don't have to restart that fucking area again. Thank fuck for that. Holy shit, they're quick. Time to make you sit down. God fucking damn it. Okay, this area. I just need ammo, really. Go. There we go. It's gonna be hard. Yeah! Okay. We got this. We're fine. We're we're good. I wanna see, is there anywhere? Have we forgotten something? Yeah, we've forgotten a point down there. Can we get back down there or? Okay, so if I look down there, that's not the direction that we need to go. I have to basically go all the way back for that. This is why you have to kind of keep tabs on the, um... Wait, no. Wait. How do I get down there? Where is it? Wait. Oh no, that's the area where we started the stream at. Fuck, I don't think we can get get over there now. Yeah. Fuck. I'll take a look around and see if I can. Okay, so... Why are you here? Stop it! Get some help. Preferably from your own lord and savior. Oh well, it's not really doing, not really doing this for completion's sake anyway. Just kind of sad that I couldn't get that, because that's a Praetor suit point, and that could have been really useful right about now. Whatever. 
I guess I can get down there later on. It's gotta be it, right? Yep. What? I almost fell down. Oh, come on! Why even bother having the fucking platform there then? Like, seriously, why, why even bother? Just at least make it run down or something. That's so bad. Oh, up. No way. Is this what I think it is? Is this a mech? Systems on. Oh no, it's just a turret. Alright. Fair this enough. Target destroyed. The oh. Turret the angle needed to destroy the remaining tentacle. What? What do you mean? Just fucking angle. It's right there. You're telling me you don't have the fucking angle for that. Who the fuck designed this system? Alright. I call bullshit on that, but okay. Sit down. No. Okay. Where am I right now? Yep, I'm just going further and further away, so I might as well just consider this area unreachable right now. I'd have to replay the game again to probably get that. No. No. No! Stop it. Get some help. Because this, this is where we came from. Our trans-dimensional friends shall not walk on tainted ground. Earth must be cleansed. Uh huh. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. You know what? You get the death sentence. High frames, fire, grenade. Can you die? Thank you. Stop it. Get some help. gun we have with ammo in it. That would have been real fucking embarrassing if I missed that. Perfect. An ammo bag. Come on then. Come on then, big boy. Come on. Thought so. Okay, where are we? See, so yeah, we're coming up on the big fight.
I knew something was up. Hello. Don't mind if I diddly damn do. Eliminating a bunch of weaponry. Actually, I wonder. Arsenal. You. Precision bolt. Oh, I already have that done. Okay. So what's on the uh, micro missiles then? Uh, kills with the heavy cannon will boost micro missiles damage by thirty percent for five seconds. So I go for that, and I go for micro missile reload. See that, but I'm not going for it yet. I want to see what's in here before I go for it. I definitely need like an ammo capacity booster. Stop it. No. Have you learned your lesson? Mother. Fucking awesome. And apparently overcharge also gives you infinite ammo. Good to know. Because I completely forgot about that. Okay. Yeah, you're dead. Let's see, where's the... There it is. 
Oh yeah! They never learn, do they? I guess this room is done. Oh. Oh! Okay! I was wondering where, where the fuck the last enemy was. I found him. <laughs> when do I get out of the other challenge? Uh, it's not gonna be a specific challenge. Oh no. I hate these segments. This is by far one of the more annoying parts about the game. Um. Please, delete yourself from existence. Please, delete yourself from existence. Please, delete yourself. I hate these things. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Can't move. So like I said, it's not going to be a specific challenge per se. It's not going to be a real challenge per se. It's going to be more... At some point, you just have so much, so many points that you just don't know what the hell to spend them on. And then you've done all the challenges. So, for an extremely high cost, like we're talking a hundred thousand, a permanent custom challenge to be added in. For whatever specific price, between, say, 900 to 1200 points. That's what I'm thinking. I just haven't implemented it yet. Oh, I just need to go in there. I was wondering what I needed to do in here. You know what? Come on. I want to see what happens. Oh, it doesn't affect them. Um... That's boring. Well, I only have 4,000. Which is why it needs to be extremely high cost. Because some people have like 50,000. Up to like closer to like 80,000 to even 100,000. But it's going to be... And of course, it's specifically gonna be for, for like, say, Apex, um, maybe a different game, or hell, it could, 
it could just be flat of redeeming something for me to do that they feel is worth a hundred thousand points right now I just don't have the time nor patience to really go over um, my plan with it uh, I hope I haven't missed anything no I haven't at least in that part I will however need to take a Quick pee break. Be right back. Ugh. All right. Oh, all right. Mother. You know what? Think about what you've done. Yeah, you die now. I said you die too. Ow! Lightning everywhere. What did that button do? Oh. Oh. Hello there. Extra, extra lives. Is that it, though? No, it wasn't. Secret. A quad machine. Okay, let's take a look at our ammo counts. Ten. Shotgun rounds, five for the super shotgun. Every cannon has 60 rounds. Chain gun is 60. Plasma is 20. Ballista is out. Rocket launch is 10. 11, I mean, 11, I mean. So what if we start out with the minigun? And just rip and tear. Uh, you're dead. Yes, I got it. Okay. Yep, minigun was definitely the worthwhile choice there. Actually, shit. I need to take a quick poo break as well. I just felt it now. At first I thought it, I just needed to take a pee, but now I feel the other thing. <laughs> Uh, we'll be taking a quick break again, sorry. Um, I'll be back in a, in a couple of minutes. Shouldn't take too long. Alrighty, uh, apologies for the break there. It won't happen again. Hopefully. Why am I getting the green screen aids, like, over here? Why am I getting that? I don't know. Maybe I need to angle you a bit. Nope, that just made it flat out worse. Why? Why is this happening? You know what I think? Yeah, that's it. It's that fucking outside light. It's causing it to get hit in the shade. Eh, whatever. I'll have to deal with it, as is. Let's see. Uh, we just came from there. Alright. What least server do I play on? EOS, but it's gonna take a while before I even remotely go back to League. Yeah, EOS. How you doing, Hammer? 
Because last session of League was... Oh boy. Last session of League was not fun. To put it mildly. Yeah, fair enough. Alright. Fire both cannons. One moment. What the fucking ride successful? Damn it. Big up, you slow piece of the shit. Path is now clear. You can access Dr. Hayden's outpost. Yes. I wonder, I always wonder if there's something on these, like, smaller rafters here. It's only been two hours? Damn. Ah, bloody, ah, bloody knew it. So am I. Hopefully it's gonna come by early April. Damn, a whole 100, 805 Danish grounds. That's like one third of a month's rent in the place I'm you're moving to. I know, right? Oh, no. Nah. Let's activate that one for actually done here. Sit down. Yeah. God, this game is just perfection. Don't fucking block me in. I'll fucking kill you. See? Killed him. Wait. Did you see how it reset the animation? Oh god. Damn it. Stop hitting me with my own shit. Okay, now we can grab that. Because that gives you full shields and full health.
All right, let's see what she has to say. Log entry 006, February 9th. Okay, we have to be here. The only thing they fear is him. We watched as the Horde overwhelmed the very best and most advanced machinery and weapons technology that we could muster against the opposition. It was useless. They moved too quickly. They cared not for themselves, only sought out the blood of humanity. They were willing to sacrifice their own to get to the heart of our world. We slaughtered thousands and millions more followed. But then he came. He cut through them like, like a sickle through a field. His fury surpassing their own. He is faster, more relentless. I believe him now to be more than just a man. He is doom. Damn right we're fucking doom. Doom for the next pro anime protagonist. She's not scared, she's more... She's been giving us a progressive story of how, from a scientist's point of view, she just doesn't believe him, to basically believing he's a god of destruction. And now she just flat out believes that he is doom incarnate to defeat um, the demon horde. Bear in mind, we haven't seen her yet. It's just a bunch of audio logs. <laughs> Which he obviously is. Uh, ooh. Actual god of murder violence. Indeed. Generating barrels. Ooh. Now see, that could be good. Then we could get both. Yeah, let's get both. Explosive piñatas! Or we could have gotten that. Fuck. Ah, oh, well. They only have a single rocket left. We need to chainsaw something. Let's see, where are we? We are down here on the bottom floor. Oh, wait. Can we can we actually get that now? Yeah, that is where we're supposed to go. Ah, we're back here again. So... How do we get into that room? Because we missed that last time we were here. Also, Hammer, they have the Berserk power up in the game. And by fucking god, I just went and slaughtered a full room of Mancubi. It was glorious! So we need to get in... S oh, we need to get up there, actually. Just glory kill after glory kill after glory kill. How do I get in? How do I get back inside, though? Is it just through the window? No. So, because that's showing us a ramp. Oh. Well, I'm a dumbass. I wonder, can I? Yes, I can. And it should be in the back room over here. Yorp! Give me that suit point, boy! Well, sometimes in, in the mergers, carnage, and rage, and blood, and violence, you kind of tend to forget what's around you.
<laughs> hey, Miku. Perfect fucking timing, mate. We just stumbled across a quadra kill. Yes! Yes! This game is perfection. This game is sheer perfection. Although the... The purple goop can go fuck itself, though. Let's see what's around here. Nothing. Nothing, really. Alright. This is Dr. Elena Richardson. Log entry 007. March 3rd, 2163. And with him lies our salvation. For as he gains in strength, so do they fall in numbers. The priests command the armies to the north and south, but he controls the fight. The inner circle of death is where he resides, hunting them at the far reaches of the earth and beyond. I am a believer now. I feel it is in doom that I have faith. The Slayer is the spear that stabs at the heart of our attackers, and those that would seek to harm us should feel warned. For there is only one dominant life form in this universe, and it carries a steel-barreled sword of vengeance. All hail the coming of the Destroyer. The Slayer's time is now. Why do I get the feeling that she's gonna become a boss? For some reason. Don't know why it jumped. Because don't they all? I don't know. I just kind of go and maim shit, so. Yeah, possibly. Gee, I wonder if it's going to be a boss fight. Yo, game, could you make it more obvious, please? I, I didn't catch that. Did did you want me to prepare for a boss fight? <laughs> no. You're still here, by the way. <laughs> a room full of resources never leads to a boss fight. Right? Wait, where am I supposed to go? I don't see... I don't see the marker. Okay, wait, hold on. Because there wasn't a button in that. So, oh, there it is. Usually those are green. That's, I was looking for the green. The office laboratory is located at the top of this facility. Attention, emergency protocols have been activated. Please exit the facility now. All right, Samuel Hayden. My God, um, uh, doc Doctor Hayden was uh, convinced. Uh, Move. Give me blade. Uh, Test subject. Can I just say that it is an honor for me personally to meet you. I oh. Hayden Emergency protocols have been activated. They are just Please horrified. Wait. Oh wow, he we, really uh, did We don't know how to access his main cortex. It's all alien. We couldn't figure it out. We have to uh prepare for his careful extraction. We were given specific orders. Yeah, no. J j just rip him down. His life signal is barely readable. Hey, what is this? Demonic presence, threat level 5, entering main laboratory. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, no. A sentinel? <laughs> I completely forgot! <laughs> I completely forgot I had the Doobie Corn skin on! Let me help you to see. <laughs> what was he saying? Whoa! That was his doggo? That's so fucking funny. Yeah, because uh, I have no idea how to count for this guy. I, okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I... That shield is not breaking apart, like, at all. I completely forgot! Warning. All armed personnel, the mortally challenged, have entered the compound. Evacuation is advised. Yeah, basically, it's apparently offensive to call them immortal. It, th that's literally why they call them mortally challenged. Because saying that they are not immortal. Yeah, I just. That's the window, that's the window, and you're coming with me. Fuck that dog! Okay, that dog, combined with the fact that he charges at you constantly, is kind of annoying. Marauder. Stand too close, he uses shotgun. Stand too far away, he throws projectiles. Keep him mid-range, counter to tanks when his eyes flash green. Otherwise, he blocks your shots. Oh, okay. Warning. That's it, okay. The mortally challenged have entered the compound. Evacuation is advised. I get it now. Fucking hell, moves so quick! Okay, this is gonna require some fucking, like, careful planning here. Warning. All armed personnel, the mortally challenged, have entered the compound. Evacuation is advised. Yeah, thank fuck for that, because it sure as hell wasn't fucking obvious. <sighs> that slash? I'm not even that far away. Why is he throwing out his slash attack like that? Evacuation is advised. No. No. I need you.
Damn it, no. Da okay. This is actually gotta be one of the more <sighs> resistance to super. All our personnel, the mortally challenged, have entered the Play. compound. Evacuation is advised. He moves too fucking fast. Because the regular shotgun just doesn't. Warning. All our personnel, the mortally challenged, have entered the compound. Evacuation is advised. How did that super. Okay, this, um is becoming extremely annoying extremely fucking quickly warning all our personnel the mortally challenged have entered the compound evacuation is advised like the dog appears randomly and I don't know why. Like, I barely deal damage to him, and suddenly the dog just appears out of nowhere. Also, resistant to the super weapons? Yeah, that's basically what I have to do. I basically just have to fucking, like, use the super shotgun. Because he just flat out does not take enough damage to even remotely even get staggered by anything else. He reached? Okay. Now I need another one. Also, he says that the maraud it says that the marauder is resistance to super weapons, but the super shotgun is a super weapon, and yet it's the most effective. Hell, you he he's even using it in the fucking video. Warning. All our personnel, the mortally challenged, have entered the compound. Evacuation is advised. Oh, come on! Warning. All our personnel, the mortally challenged, have entered the compound. Evacuation is advised. Oh, there he is! Fucking hell! How do you keep up with that? Oh my god, just do your fucking attack! Nah, just finish it. Reset. This fight feels fucking cheap. Like, really fucking cheap. Due to that fucking shield of his. Wait, look! He just used the fucking green eyes attack! But he put up his shield! It's so like, am I supposed to shoot? Am I not supposed to shoot? Also, like...
Well, rocket launch is quite literally the worst possible option I could go for here. That's not what I wanted to do, game. My fucking god! Super resistance to super weapons, my fucking asshole, he is. Warning: All armed personnel, the mortal challenged, have entered the compound. Evacuation is advised. Oh my god! When does that doggo spawn? Like I have not said this across the entire fight. Oh my god! I have not said this across the entire lifespan of this fucking game and my time playing it, but this is actually legitimately fucking cheap. An impenetrable shield that the energy weapons don't break. A parry mechanic that is so fucking twitchy, it, it activates in one microsecond and then swaps to the shield the next so you shoot and get hit yourself. A dog that spawns out of fucking nowhere randomly close up long range mid range whatever it, nothing has any bearing on anything now don't like it it doesn't even mention the fucking dog and the more annoying part is that that dog has been shown earlier in the game as being friendly Warning. all our personnel the mortally challenged have entered the compound Evacuation yeah, I know this boss fight is 100% fucking bullshit and should never have been made. Like, what is dictating that that dog from appearing? Fucking do! It takes an eternity to swap weapons. Warning. All our personnel. The mortal is he hurt by the splash damage? I don't know. Because every time I shoot at him, when he's not flashing green, he just puts up the shield within a microsecond. So I have nothing to gauge on. I don't know when he's taking damage. I don't know when he's not taking damage. Because he just runs up to you when you don't can't get away. Oh my fucking god! I'm 13 hours into this fucking game. And now they chuck the bullshit at me? No, I do not want to know. If game can't explain itself, then why the fuck should I rely on the Wikipedia for that? 
Evacuation is Go away, dog! Oh my god. Like, if this just broke the shield, I wouldn't be so fucking livid. But it doesn't. Oh my god, get away! Like, look! He wasn't even done with his fucking animation and he still blocked the fucking shot! He can, he can. He apparently does whatever the fuck he wishes. Finally, yes, some level of fucking consistency, consistency randomly. fight that might actually be the most cancerous fucking fight i've ever been a part of holy shit that should have never taken that many attempts This game has been fucking flawless in my opinion, up until that point. Fuck that boss. Actual AIDS. An actual autoimmune disease is what that fucking was. Fuck me.